Soup's on two ninety nine. Anyone who knows me to any uh, you know degree uh, knows that I drink a lot of coffee. And uh, being Canadian as I am, there's one institution that reigns supreme above all others, and that would be uh, Tim Hortons. Uh, I think every video I've ever done, I've had this mug drinking from it. And it is a Tim Hortons mug from 2003, a Christmas collector's sort of thing. And uh, I like my Timmy's. I want to say about five years ago now, the Tim Hortons uh, was Tim Hortons was bought out by this international conglomerate, I think from Brazil, that owns Burger King. It was the Burger King Tim Hortons buyout. Uh, it was a big to do at the time. There was massive layoffs at corporate office, and since then, Timmy's has gone through um, a number of changes in a multitude of different ways. Uh, their branding has changed completely. Uh, they've expanded their repertoire, uh, you know, their menu to include more fast food-like items, uh, like potato wedges, like french fries, and they sell veggie burgers now. And uh, I was just at uh, Sobeys yesterday picking up some groceries, and I came across something that, uh, you know, I was just perusing the aisles and I, I come to find, I'm going to get real close to the camera for a second here, this. And this is a can of Tim Hortons home style chili. I have never in my life uh, seen anything at the grocery store that said Tim Hortons on it other than the coffee grinds I was picking up. And um, <clears throat> that mug doesn't have it on it, but the old, uh, the old Tim Hortons logo was a, it was oval, right? And uh, the cup was like a two-tone burgundy, and it said always fresh. And since the, um, the buyout, the cups are now just one flat color, and uh, they have the, Tim, the name Tim Hortons kind of wrapping around them in a way that isn't pleasing to the eye whatsoever. And so you have this vibrant red with Tim Hortons. And uh, yeah, homestyle chili. This, uh, this was sh sh shocking to me. That... Uh, not only are they now trying to compete with McDonald's, because what happened was uh, Timmy's started making these changes, and they weren't being outright about it. They were being very sneaky and underhanded, and the biggest, most, you know, galling one was that they changed uh, coffee bean suppliers uh, to something cheaper, essentially. And a lot of people noticed, a lot of people took issue with it, <clears throat> and uh, in the intervening time, uh, McDonald's, who have been making massive pushes in their, with their McCafe, you know, angle. Cutting in on the coffee donut market, got Tim Horton's old, uh, coffee bean supplier. So now everybody, uh, well, a great number of people my age, anyways, switched entirely from Tim Horton's to McDonald's, but I would never do that because McDonald's isn't, you know. McDonald's doesn't need my money. Anyways, so... Uh, I just never uh, expect... I know that uh, you can get soup and occasionally chili at Timmy's on their, like, lunch menu. But to see a canned good in the grocery store that says Tim Hortons on it, absolutely baffling to me. So let's let's get, run through it, you know, real quick. Prepared in Canada, uh, suggested serving. Picture of a bowl ready to serve, yeah, yeah. Whether you're dining at our place or at yours, Tim Hortons is committed to delivering the flavors you love and the quality you've come to expect. We select the finest ingredients for our signature homestyle chili for a healthy and satisfying experience every time. Nutritional facts, one can, 425 grams, 20 grams of fat, 450 calories, that's 26% uh, of your daily intake of fat, 40% uh, of your saturated and trans fats. 43 grams of carbohydrate, 26 grams of protein, 70 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,120 milligrams of sodium. That is 49%. That is 50% of your salt intake for the day. Yeah, this is going to be great. Made in Canada from domestic and imported goods. Tim Hortons, registered trademark of Tim Hortons. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh... The other thing that caught my eye when I bought this 
is uh, there's cooking instruction. You know, you pick up a can of Chef Boyardee, there's fucking... It tells you how to put it in the microwave. Well, uh, ready to serve. Step one, open can with can opener. <laughs> Most condescending shit. Pour into a soup pot and heat on stove to boiling alternatively heat in microwave using a microwave safe bowl. Serve and enjoy. Yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna cook this. Which I may or may not show you. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Depends on how much video editing I feel like doing, to be perfectly honest. And then I'm gonna eat it, and I'm gonna tell you how it is. It's been a while since I did a food video, and we're in a whole new setup since those days, so... Uh... Bear with me. Nice hiss. Alright, I actually got it open. You know, you need both hands to operate a can opener. That is looking, um... On the table. It's looking very, uh, tomato pasty. All the beans appear to have gone to the bottom. Yeah, okay. Well, it's not particularly thick looking. I'm not sure. It let's, uh, let's get this bitch going. There's a look at it prepared. So. It's much runnier than I was expecting. I was kind of hoping that it'd be a bit thicker. It's still got that very um, tomato paste look about it. No large chunks of meat or anything. A couple of beans. Yeah. All right. Let's eat it. And we're back. <clears throat> so, aroma-wise, as it was cooking, I could kind of smell some spice off it, but at this point here, it doesn't smell of much of anything. And, yeah. I would, I don't know, I guess it was kind of hoping for some kind of, like, preservative-laden meat. And there's, like, little specks of what I'm assuming might be ground beef in here, but nothing. So, it's not partic particularly hefty. It's not particularly spicy. Alright. I don't know what I was expecting. I really don't. Well, that was, that's just tomato. Uh, flavor of bell pepper. Not even banana pepper, bell pepper. Maybe, maybe it's like settled to the bottom. Here, scooping up some of this. Like every time I get like what I think is going to be a more substantial spoonful, it's just got a couple of the beans in it. Which, the beans aren't doing nothing. Except making me regret eating this before I have to go to work. Fucking coffee's spicier than the chili. I mean, like, it's not awful. It's just the most unremarkable thing in the world. Like, I've had stag chili, which is, like, you know, canned. You buy it in the same aisle at the grocery store next to the Chef Boyardee. It's got some some kick to it. This is... yeah. Can you say you're disappointed when you had no expectations? 
don't know. Uh, something like that, you want to be surprised. You know, you want to, uh, you want to think, ah, oh, this isn't going to be that great, and then go, oh, it's actually not bad. Now it's... It's, it's, if it were a color, it would be beige. Possibly gray. If it were an object, it would be cardboard. Unremarkable. Just completely unremarkable. In any way, I got, the best thing I could say for it is it's edible. It's not actively unpleasant. Piece of onion there. Yeah. Yeah, these guys are really running Tim Hortons into the ground. It's sad, actually. Like, uh, there are polls done every year for, um, I don't know, brand favorability, popularity across the country, so to speak. And Tim Hortons consistently placed in the top three top three and uh, last year it came in uh, somewhere in the 50s in the 60s maybe like that much of a drop off in a single year just like that I don't even really want to finish it I also don't want to cook anything else for lunch now, though. Yeah, I, I don't know. I was thinking maybe for the first couple spoonfuls, like, okay, well, maybe there's no real... Like, I'm not getting any pieces of pepper here. And, uh... It's not getting any hotter. <laughs> it's not getting any beefier. It's, it's a bowl of tomato soup. Who thought this was a good, I guess I thought it was a good idea. In the production, who thought this was a good idea? Who thought this was going to be a seller? You know? If they were selling this in store, you know, if it was like you go into uh, a Timmy's and uh, you're hungry, you get yourself a uh, medium coffee and you get a jelly donut or like a muffin and uh, a piece of bread and a little bowl of chili on the side, then it would be perfectly fine. But to, like, bring it home and cook it for yourself? Because you're at, you're at the place, and it's like, oh, we've got this special, this is our lunch special. Would you like a bowl of chili? And you go, sure, it's only this month, like, $5 for the whole kit and caboodle. And then you go and you eat it, and you're like, it's fine, it's here, I'll eat it. Then, like, that, why would anyone buy this to come home and cook it? It's just... So bland. You just want to be you want to be surprised once. You you want to you want to go in thinking that glass glass is half empty and then come to find that it's entirely full. But it's not the way the world works, I guess.
as if the entirely like tomato sauce base wasn't enough tomato there are little chunks of tomato in it so you can you can have you know your flavorlessness with more flavorlessness fucking jesus I really don't think you should be able to do that with chili, but whatever. So that was um, <clears throat> Tim Horton's Homestyle Chili, now available at your local grocery store, I'm assuming if you live in Canada. I would not recommend it at all. As a matter of fact, if you're still going to Tim Hortons for coffee, I recommend you start going to Robin's Donuts, because uh, their coffee isn't quite as strong, but it's nowhere near as bitter, and uh, their pastries are a million times better than Tim Hortons. And they also... You know what really grinds my gears? New coffee lids. Like, uh, what... My entire life, every coffee shop you go to, every fucking corner store, anywhere you go to get coffee, the lid you get in it, has a pull tab that you rip open and then pop in, and then it's just a flat lid that you drink out of. I went to the States a number of years back, uh, I want to say 2014, no, that can't be right. It was PAX, I went to PAX East when it was in Boston, whatever year that was. And um, I went to a Dunkin' Donuts when I was there. And, you know, you see in movies and shit where coffee cup lids are, like, you know, an inch high with just, like, tiny little fucking hole in them to drink out of. Like a sippy cup. Like what a baby drinks out of. Like what an infant child drinks his fucking milk out of. Yeah, it was like that. And, um, I didn't enjoy it. And then in, like, the last year, everywhere around here is is using these stupid lids like i can't get the plain regular coffee they had nowhere robin's donuts is the last place around that still has a normal fucking coffee lid and the worst part is is how fucking like tim morton's again massive culprit in this regard how fucking cheap and shitty their lids are after getting before they switched over to this type of lid they changed lids twice and they got remarkably cheaper each time when the buyout initially happened and then again after that the plastic changed to like a cheaper shittier flimsier material and uh and now they've got these ridiculous fucking things with a little flip lid on it like i'm assuming because mccafe has that style of lid and mcdonald's is making money i wonder oh, uh, we got to do what they're doing I can't remember why I started going off about the coffee lids. Um, yeah, don't eat the chili. Uh, thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. You know, this will be my my little Christmas present to all um, all five of you. Always fresh, always Tim Hortons.